It's time to say goodbye. The graduating cadets tip their hats to the underclassmen marching past in a farewell salute. This is a moment of pause and remembrance. From the parade ground, the scene shifts to the field house, where the 480 men of the class of 1956 receive diplomas and commissions as second lieutenants. Army Secretary Wilbur Brucker, who warned the group that America must keep up its guard, presents the diplomas. First to Robert Allen Stewart of Washington, top man in the class. After him come his classmates in order of their scholastic standing. But the applause is just as loud for the lowest, the anchor man, John Francis Sloan of Marquette, Michigan. Tradition is served, and now, farewell. Hail, alma mater. <laughs>